I can understand why questions are asked about Rideout in this case because this case was announced right after the debate about Rideout in Parliament. But the two cases are very different and let me explain why. For the Rideout case, there were questions raised in public including various allegations online about the two ministers. SLA had already put out a statement shortly after that to say that the transactions complied with all the procedures. But still questions were raised, including questions in Parliament. And the two ministers themselves wanted and asked for an independent review of the matter. The Prime Minister agreed and asked CPIB to investigate. And the investigations eventually concluded that there was no wrongdoing on the part of the ministers, there was no corruption. The findings were published and there was a full accounting of the matter in Parliament. This case is different. This case is completely driven by CPIB from the beginning. There was no public complaint. It was CPIB that discovered the matter through their initial findings and investigations and they felt that there was a need to interview Minister Iswaran as part of further investigations. So they raised the matter with the Prime Minister and as I mentioned just now, within a day, he concurred and agreed for formal investigations to proceed. And that's why the Minister asked Minister Iswaran, the Prime Minister asked Mr Iswaran to take a leave of absence and we have appointed SMS Chi Hong Tat to be Acting Minister to ensure that the work and operations of MOT can continue.